All right, good um, afternoon, good morning, good evening, everybody. I'm making a mupanji. It's a spatula, actually, to mix fufu. Um, I've seen a lot of video about people talking about fufu, they want a mukbang about fufu. So it's uh, pronounced mupanji. So I had this piece of wood from a previous project that I decided to make a mupanji uh, for my wife. So, um, so I just got and started actually shipping it shaving it actually so i can get to a shape that i desire to start polishing it and making a mupanji so it took a while because it was a, a long piece of wood that i had with me so i used this machete look at that good word african man um yeah so i had this machete that i bought and um so i start shaving uh all the excess and here we go actually so i cut it actually piece of it uh, about probably two or three feet. So, you know, I kind of move forward so you guys can see it. So, yeah, so I keep shaving it again with a machete uh, just to make sure that um, I get to the shape that I wanted. Um, uh, it didn't take that long, actually, even though I've, I, cut, I cut the video, but it didn't take that long. Um, it takes a lot of patience to do it. Um, I advise anybody who's going to try this, be careful, use your goggles, and always use uh, gloves so you can protect yourself. Always use protection. Uh, always be safe. Uh, don't cut yourself. And if you are not comfortable with your machete, uh, find a different um, tool to do it. Or just don't do it. Just go buy it. Or just call me. Maybe I can make one for you. So, after shipping it to uh, the desire... Uh, shape to the desired uh, size, I plugged in my power tool. It's simple. It's pretty much just a, uh, a rotary uh, power tool um, that I bought. And um, so it's now time to refine it. So yeah, so because, you know, the Mupanji is pretty much a spatula. So it has to be at a certain uh, width um, to be able to mix your fufu or anything else that you want to do. Uh, the funny part of my wife is like, yeah, we can use it on the boat. So, yeah. So, uh, now I start shipping it. Uh, the grid was actually, I think it was 60 on this one here. Um, so, that was the grid for that particular one. So, yeah, I start shaving it um, to get to the width that I am looking for. So, you got to be careful because uh, you're going to go back and forth. So you don't misshape the whole spatula. Um, that's what I did. So yeah, again, like I said, uh, I didn't use. Here we go. Um, this is what I was getting to. Like I, I, was, I was trying to say, I didn't have my glasses, my goggles, or my mask, because you're gonna have a lot of dust at this point. So again, for safety, use your goggles and your mask for the dust. Look at this. Look how I'm getting there. That looks good already, right? Yeah. So I'm getting there. It was kind of cold, so yeah. There we go. Look at that, huh? Patience, guys. Yeah, you gotta be patient when you do any project in your life. Uh, the most important thing is, is like you gotta enjoy what you're doing. Um, if you just wanna rush into it because you wanna do it and film it, it's not gonna work. Uh, put yourself into it, enjoy it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, only God is perfect, I believe. So. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you just need to like what you're doing, enjoy what you, uh, you're doing, and that's great. Look at that. Oh, Lord. This thing looking good already. Yeah. I'm liking it, actually. Um, I like the way it looks. See, look, I'm practicing. Yes. This is how you do it, man. Congolese style. Alrighty. So, after that, I changed the grid to 120. So, it's more like very smooth and very fine. Um, again, you know, if you're going to do it at home, please use your mask and your goggles to protect yourself. Safety first. Uh, again, sorry I didn't use mine, but you know, hey, I didn't really expect to film this. So yeah, so I'm going to change it to the 120 grid. Um, and then um, that's when I'm going to really start smoothing the whole thing to the texture that I was, I'm looking for. Because it's got to be very smooth uh, and look, you know, to look nice. So, there we go. Alrighty. 
and tie it up. Make sure you tie it because it doesn't. You don't want it to fly around when uh, you are using it. And plug it. You always unplug it when you are changing the blade or anything else on the power tool. So that's what it is. Here we go. Now it's time to refine it. That's it. It looks good actually. Uh, when I was looking at, it, I was so happy and satisfied. Uh, voila. That's the finished product, guys. Um, it looks fantastic. And I'm going to show you, actually, I kind of etched my uh, my initials in there. But one of the greatest things, since this was a gift uh, to my wife, I did something great. Look at that. I put her name on it and wrote Mupanji with a heart. Guys, it's just a pro <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Clap for me. It's hot. Um, yeah, so... Uh, you know, I put her name. It's not perfect, like I said, but I did it with my heart. I did it because it's fantastic. Come on, like the page, like the video, guys. So, yeah, you can see how fine this whole Mupanji look like this spatula to make fufu. The only person to approve would be my wife. Uh, also, when she um, test drive it to make the, the fufu. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching, guys, and like the video and share, and uh, tell me what's your project. Bye.